everybody there? Everybody hear me? We're okay? okay. Um, <laughs> can't say enough about uh, uh, the season that Marco is having. Uh, he's on a great roll, and he just carried over what he did over in, in Anaheim last week into today's game and uh, was outstanding. Just uh, threw all of his pitches for strikes, um, just total control of the game. Of course, they, you know, Gallup put the two-run double on him. But other than that, it was outstanding today. A really good fastball command. With, uh, got the breaking ball going later in the game. Uh, you know, just took control of it. And uh, uh, talking to Luis Torrens, first time catching Marco, he said, this guy's pretty good. I said, yes, he is. He's really good. And he knows how to execute, too. So uh, nice job there. Big game for Dylan Moore, obviously, and, and Seager getting us going early with the, the home runs. Um, a lot of really good at-bats up and down the lineup today. We put a lot of pressure. Uh, on them uh, inning after inning and that's what it takes and uh, awesome homestand certainly the first three games got wiped away uh, by Oakland situation and we'll make those up later but uh, it's hard to, to sweep a four game series it really is and uh, our guys showed up every day ready to get after it got a lot of big hits early in games and uh, our pitching was, was solid as well so next step we'll go out on the road and see what happens there. Yeah, Marco's got four walks in eight starts. I mean, you, you keep talking about throwing strikes, but you can't do it any better than that. Huh? You really can't. And I said it uh, you know, earlier this year, I said it after his last start, you know, for all of our young pitchers on this staff, um, you should be up at the rail watching what this guy does every time he toes the rubber. It's really impressive. He does not back off. Um, he doesn't throw 95, but it doesn't matter. He can execute pitches. His ball's got really good life and finish to it. Um, and he really sequences pitches just outstanding. Um, throughout the course of a game. So uh, I think Luis Torrens is going to learn a lot from catching Marco Gonzalez and how to work hitters and read the bat because Marco's really, really good at it. Scott, it just seems like every pitch he throws with such conviction, like right? there's a belief in everything that he's done. I would imagine that's all built up throughout the week too. It's not just when he steps on the mound, but that's a build process. Yeah, he, he's got a definite plan. There's no question about it. But you talk about conviction and commitment to what you're doing. Marco's as strong as, and convicted about as any of our players in anything he does. Uh, and it's, it carries over. And he's having a ton of success. He's had success in this league, uh, but he's not backing off. He doesn't take anything for granted. And uh, that's, what, that's how you have to be. You have to have your guard up all the time uh, when you take the mound, knowing that, you know, it can slip away from you at any moment. And that forces you to constantly be on top of your game. So uh, it's a tribute to him. And it's, uh, it's awesome to hand him the ball, you know, once every six days. We've seen, we've seen Dylan hammer a bunch of fastballs, but I mean, that was a curveball that he hit 425 feet, and then you know, he has the double. It just seems like he makes stuff happen every time you put him out there, whether it's on the bases or at bat or something. He really is. He's, a, he's, he's an exciting player. He, he can bring a lot to the game. I did not expect to see the power we've seen from him this year. Um, he's gotten stronger. Uh, he's made a couple adjustments in his swing from what we saw last year, but uh, he typically goes line to line, hits the ball all over the field. And like you said, you know, he was having some tough at bats and, and Allard, you know, decided to go with the curveball. I think that the first curveball he'd seen from him and he jumped all over it uh, and drove it. And then later on with the, the changeup, I think is what he hit for the uh, three run double. So uh, Dylan's having a great year. Um, and you love to see players, they get an opportunity, they grasp onto it, and then they take it and run with it. Um, and it happens to <laughs> quite a few guys in this league if they've got that kind of ability. And he's seeing the ball great, playing with a ton of confidence on the bases, defensively, and certainly in the batter's box. Hey, you guys are making things kind of interesting here. We, we haven't talked big picture too much, but you, you, I mean, you keep winning games, you're kind of putting yourself in the, in the thick of the, uh, the playoff chase with this many uh, – Spots open. Uh, you guys start to look at that, or how do you approach that? No, we're just working about getting worried about getting better every day, Greg. I think you know. I said it the other day. You got to get to 500, you know, and, and we're not there yet. And uh, we're just learning about ourselves every day out there. Uh, you know, good things, bad things, some things in the middle. How do you make adjustments? Um, you know, we're going on the road. We're playing two teams we know very little about. We haven't seen the Giants at all. We don't know much about the Diamondbacks. This will be a big, big challenge for us. Um, you know, when you're playing the teams in your division, you get a little bit more rhythm to it. You know how you're going to attack. This will be a really challenging uh, road trip. We're looking forward to it. We're playing really well. Uh, this group's not afraid of anything. We just come to the ballpark with one single goal in mind, and how do we get better today? And as long as we stay there, we'll be just fine. We've talked, I guess, for two weeks now about pitching a defense. It seems if you can, if you can just kind of 
pinpoint this, this whole scratch. It just seems like it's built on that, on that premise. Yeah, you're breaking up there a little bit, Greg, but you're talking about pitching and defense. Um, it shows up every day, you know, the consistency of it. Um, you're not going to always get the results on the mound, but you will if you're throwing strikes. And Mar that's what Marco's done. That's what a lot of our young stars have done. They've attacked the strike zone. I heard a stat today, like, we've increased our end zone rate just dramatically here in the last three weeks. Just our guys constantly pounding it. And again, you look at the one inning we had trouble in the ninth inning, it was because we were behind the count. We walked a few guys. We just can't afford to do that. Uh, but I'm really proud of this group from where we were about three weeks ago to where we are today. We've come up a ton from where we were at. And it's all driven by just getting the ball in the box. Throw strike one uh, and continue to focus on that because our defense will make plays. We've shown that and that's going to be there every day. Scott, you talked uh, pregame about the six-man rotation and all that and the reasons for getting behind it. Uh, looking at Marco's year, he's been such a high-volume uh, guy in the past for you making all his starts. Has this maybe helped him as well? I absolutely think so. Uh, I do know, like, today's game, for example, you know, having a conversation with Pete Woodworth during the game, um, you know, we have an 8-2 to two lead. Marco's in control of the game. You know, he's getting on, I don't know, 88 some pitches after the sixth. You know, if he would have to make a start in another five days, you're probably pulling him out of that game, thinking you have this one in hand. You turn the ball over to the bullpen guys. But because he has that extra day, you, could, you feel very confident and comfortable running him up to 105, knowing that he doesn't have to turn around and, and pitch again in five days. That extra day is a big deal. Um, not just that, but also his stuff, the consistency of the stuff and the life on the ball. Uh, as he gets deeper in the games, he's got more in the tank. You know, that's what I see. Uh, and I think it's, it's paying off for us.